hey guys if you are in year 10 at the moment then you are probably worried about what is going to happen next year are there going to be exams in 2022 and yes at the moment, based on everything that I know, I do believe there are going to be exams in 2022. Now I know this is tough because you guys have missed a massive chunk of the start of your GCSEs, you've missed the, the, the fundamental, the basics that everything is built on, which means that you're probably going to have to do a fair bit of independent catch up work whether that's stuff that is set for you by the school or whether it's stuff that you just do by yourself over the summer holiday, the, the, the pressure is going to be on to catch up, to fill in those gaps. But I do not want you to, to stress about this. I do not want you to worry about this at all, really. Because the main thing we need to focus on is getting to the end of this with our mental health intact. And sitting at home, at school, on social media, stressing about whether there are or are not going to be exams in 15 months time isn't actually very helpful. Let's, let's plan for there being exams. Let's assume there are going to be exams. Let's say, because you have, you have lots of time to catch up and fill in the gaps. And starting now, if you're watching this video, you are motivated to start now because I promise you, not many people are watching this video. Happy times. Um, being motivated to start now is gonna put you in a really, really good position when we get to year 11. And there are so many things that you can do independently away from school to help you with this. Now, the first thing I want you to think about is I want you to go and watch my video that I put out like a month ago on how to make your life easier. You're probably told that you had to take 10 GCSEs, but some GCSEs are more important than other GCSEs. The extra one you had to take because you had to do a humanities or a language to make it up to 10, that's not a very important GCSE. I'm sorry to the teachers out there, but it's not. So we're not gonna spend a lot of time and effort worrying about that one. The things that are important are your English, they are your maths, and anything else we need to move on to A-levels, to move on to college courses, or to get us past that five GCSE mark. That ninth, 10th GCSE, they're not actually hugely important. So when you are thinking about the massive amount of work that you've got to do, you do actually not have that much 10 GCSEs, 11, 12 GCSEs to go for because some of them we can just kind of like go through the motions, hand in the homework, do the tests, do the exams, but if we don't, you know, get an amazing in every single GCSE, well, that's not the end of the world. Now, there are lots of things to consider. Go and watch the other video, like I said, um, because I talk about them all in there. But the things we need to focus on are getting your maths and your English and anything else you need to up to scratch. Now, the absolute key with this is little and often. So, get your kind of like... Um, revision guide or one of the workbooks from my website and just say right I'm going to do a maths question that's it that's all I'm asking you to do at the moment do a maths question a day just one that's it you don't have to do loads and loads of work for it to be effective you need to do little and often and if you do that maths question and you get it right, brilliant, well done. If you do that maths question and you get it wrong, well then the next day go and watch one of my videos or go and ask your teacher for help with it. You do not need to sit down and spend hours and hours and hours doing loads of work sitting in one place at your desk. Little and often is the key. Maybe pick a half hour slot every day and say you're going to do one maths question, you're going to work out some quotes for English, to do like, I don't know, two quotes for English, do 10 languages flashcards and do a mind map for history or something. All really, really short tasks, but doing this number of short tasks every single day is really, really going to help you. So yes, I am asking you to start revising for exams that are in 15 months time that we don't, well we 
probably do know are going to happen but it is so little that I'm really really hoping it won't have any negative effects on your mental health. Little and often is the key. The other thing we need to work out is what do your teachers think you know? So what topics do your teachers assume that you've covered in school already? Now this is going to be different for every single school because not everyone does it in the same order. Um, but you then need to work out where the gaps are and we need to work on going and filling those gaps in. Now there are loads of different ways you can do this, you can do this by watching videos, you can do this for asking your teachers for help, you can do this by um, you know, trying some of the multiple choice questions over on my website. There are so many things that you can do. But do not leave it all until we get back in September for year 11. We have a nice two weeks off school now where you've slowly got back into the, the, the rhythm of things hopefully um, and you're back at home and I imagine some of you are worried a bit. So just slowly gently use this time to start catching up the bits that you have missed. Um, I'm going to be putting so much stuff out for you um, by the time you get to your exams in year 11 there will be so many workbooks, papers, courses, videos that, that I've got you covered for this. Um, but we do need to spend a little bit of time catching up and filling in the gaps. Um, over this two, two and a half, three week holiday I really do want you to get outside as much as possible. Now lockdown in the winter just really depressing, cold, rainy, can't go for a walk. It's now glorious sunshine, so get out and go and feed the ducks. I think that's like a de instruction. Please go and feed some ducks somewhere. Um, peas, apparently, frozen peas, what you're supposed to feed the ducks, not bread. Anyway, um, yeah, please just get out of the house as much as possible. Go and see people. Um, as soon as we're allowed to start socialising, do that just go and sit in a park and chat nonsense um yeah so this is this is just a it's gonna be all right guys we have time yes i think exams are happening little and often is the best way to catch up everything that you have missed and please please most importantly spend prioritize time looking after your mental health um I am going to be with you every single step of the way. Ouch. Mm, love you too, Prim.